this has gotten out of hand. Oh, I thought help would never come, but here you are. On our way back from a supply run, a massive storm swept through our area. We were right in the thick of it. In all the confusion, one of our crew got left behind. We've been worried ever since. She must have gotten hit in all of the chaos. We need you to bring her back. Can you do this for us? Thank you so much. Please, be careful. Right, back to it. Sometimes I wonder what life would be like if I never moved away from you and my family.
little help here, please. Here, let me see that. Ah, oh, much better. Thanks. Let's get out of here. I'll follow you. my take just step away from my find I let this go but don't let it happen again if you're lucky you might find another one around here
I came here with my family when I was a kid. I hated it. We are all breathing a sigh of relief around here now that we're all back together. Thank you. Here, this is for you. I only wish I had more to give. Safe travels, friend. Keeping all this equipment running.
You went to a lot of effort to find me. Goddamn Gall Bank. Will they ever give up? I'm gonna give you one chance. Leave. Let some other errand boy do Gall Bank's dirty business. Otherwise, it's not gonna end well for you, my friend. <laughs> Why the hell would I do that? Yeah, not falling. You know what? You're wasting. This isn't getting us anywhere. Enough! I've had enough. Went to a lot of effort to find me. Goddamn Gall Bank. Will they ever give up? I'm gonna give you one chance. Leave. Let some other errand boy do Gall Bank's dirty business. Otherwise, it's not gonna end well for you, my friend. <coughs> Why the hell would I do that? Easy, easy. Let's see if there's another way out of this. Yeah, sorry, but... There's nothing to talk about. I've already made... Enough! I've had enough of you! This ends! You went to a lot of effort to find me. Goddamn Gall Bank. Will they ever give up? I'm gonna give you one chance. Leave. Let some other errand boy do Gall Bank's dirty business. Otherwise, it's not gonna end well for you, my friend. <coughs> Why the hell would I do that? I, I never said I was done talking. You don't know what you're talking about. All right, look, I'd like to help, but... All right, all right. Took me ages to collect this. But I just want a decent night's sleep. And here, debt repaid. Now get the hell out of here. Good luck out there. I mean it. My favorite credit analyst is back. You got Mr. Maliki to pay up, alive no less. Now this, this is what I was hoping for. My superiors are thrilled, ecstatic. Absolutely. Listen, I'm really feeling this working together, aren't you? So if you want another delinquent, let me know. We'll keep this going. But here is your well-deserved finder's fee. I threw in a little extra for handling it well. I got a new job for you, if you're up for it. So chalk this one up to a very fine but clearly overworked credit checker that accidentally approved a sizable loan, then turned out to be murdering space scum. A real black guy, I know. I'm thinking conversation is not really going to be an option on this one, friend. Well, you... You are really something, you know. 
here's all the details. A and thanks.
this shift doesn't end soon, my man is not. Good luck out there. I mean, one pirate's unfortunate demise logged. We're making space safer, fulfilling our civic obligation. <laughs> this is great, right? This job is a bit of an unknown. A small company CEO suddenly disappeared, defaulting <coughs> on a very serious loan we gave her. No one knows if she embezzled the funds, is stranded somewhere, or heck, was kidnapped. We have a lead on where she is. Please, please, please try and handle this delicately. I feel better already. Good luck! Huh. Well, isn't this a pleasant surprise? I hadn't expected to run into you again. Indeed I am. The success of my previous venture, with which you so kindly assisted, has been brought to the attention of Mast. There is growing concern. Oh my. A bit of an unintentional pun, isn't that? Well, concern that things are going to get worse. The data we gathered points to a definitive trend. The vibrations coming from this tree are increasing in strength and frequency. Because we've never seen this before, not on this scale, we have absolutely no idea what the upper limit is. We don't know when or even if this will stop. It's imperceptible by normal human standards now, but given time. While I hesitate to speculate on the possibilities, well, none of them are good. I am attempting to formulate one, yes. But until I have all of the relevant information, it is impossible to do so. There is data regarding other, younger members of the species. Unfortunately, there are some, shall we say, personal issues with acquiring it. <clears throat> per per personnel <laughs> issues, if you understand me. Not necessarily, but if you're offering your services, You've certainly proven to be reliable help in the past. One of the other researchers in MAST, Emilio Hadek, has research I believe could be vital to my work here. He and I don't see eye to eye, and so far he's refused to turn it over to me. I'm hoping that if someone else were to ask, he might be more inclined to relinquish it. What do you say? 
Oh, thank you. Uh, last I knew, he was on a field assignment somewhere near the outskirts of the city. Uh, perhaps it's best if you don't mention my name in the process? Could you stand a little to the left? I think you're blocking my readings. Trees? Uh, I see what's going on here. You're working with Kelton, aren't you? Nice try, but it's not happening. No. No way. Kelton is actively ruining my career. There's no chance that I'm helping him with anything. Whatever this thing is he's on about, he's just doing it to make himself look good with the higher-ups. I'm not helping him with that. Kelton screwed me over good. Probably ruined my chances for advancing in Mast. I'm not going to forgive that, ever. <laughs> right. Of course, we're all in danger. Trees are involved, after all. Uh, he really won't let this go, will he? Hmm. Maybe I can make this work in my favor. Okay, you know what? I'll hand over the data. But I'm only going to do so after you've helped me secure a better position in MAST. Wait, really? Wow, okay. Okay! I've gotten a few bad <coughs> performance evaluations in the last couple of years. Totally unjustified, incredibly unfair. I found a backdoor into the MAST network so I could make some changes to my personnel file. But it turns out the chief engineer knows what she's doing. The only way to get access is from the terminal in her apartment, which is kind of... locked. <laughs> Sorry, that's not on the table. From where I'm standing, kinda seems like it is. Yeah, maybe. Okay, look, look! Just hear me out, alright? I really need this to happen. If you do this for me, I can make it worth your while. You delete that data, I get promoted, I'm pulling in a bigger salary. I can compensate you. I'll throw in some extra credits for you, okay? A nice little bonus. But first, you need to get into the chief engineer's apartment. Fine, fine, you win. Just get out of my sight. And tell Kelton to stuff it. I hope you have the data. It's really quite crucial. That he is. I'm sorry that you had to put up with him, but this data is vital. <laughs> I'm sorry if this was complicated. I'd prefer to remain unaware of the details in the event that it comes up later, particularly in a legal setting. And I suppose I'd better verify the data to make sure Emilio didn't double-cross me. But you have once again come through for me. I'm truly hoping that this is the last piece I need to figure out what we can do. And I appreciate it. Thank you for your assistance.
haven't you figured it out? You'll get nothing from me. You're just gonna have to kill me, asshole. I never, ever thought I'd be this happy to meet a bank officer. Happily, eagerly, I could kiss you. I'll make my way out of here in case any reinforcements arrive. Thank you.
Ever wonder how the Crimson Fleet seems to be everywhere? Dealing with you is the best part of my week. Another successful venture. And you save the day, too? <laughs> I wish every job was so win-win. Here's the pay. Let me know if you want another assignment. I got a new account for you. This one breaks my heart a little. Because we got a mercenary here, about the good kind. He was an upstanding citizen. He took out loans, paid them on time, every time. And about a year ago, he maxed out his credit and vanished, leaving us with a sizable account in the rears. It took some digging, but we have the name of the planet he's on. There you go. Now, I know I keep harping on this, but go easy on the guy. Maybe he's hit some real bad luck. It could happen to any of us, right? There's a bit more if it belongs on your ship. Oh, please take a look. Appreciate the business. It's amazing what bosses as art do nowadays. I heard that the Trade Authority deals in stolen goods, but no one can do anything about it. All this stuff is legit. Absolutely. Watch your back out there. Maybe if I try easy sleep tea, although it 
probably has caffeine in it. Well, you're only as safe as your equipment out there. Welcome to Outland. We deal in only the finest, most reliable gear for whatever adventures may await you. All of our products come highly recommended by individuals who have devoted their lives to distant travel. And while I've never needed them myself, I stand by everything we offer. As I've said, I wouldn't sell anything that hasn't been recommended by frequent travelers. And of course, if they're frequent, that means their equipment is working. Uh, please do. I hope we have something that suits you. <laughs> Get it? Good luck on all your adventures. I'm afraid, due to recent legislative action, I'm no longer able to allocate ships. I can, however, deal in general goods. Welcome to UC Distribution. Something I can do for you? Oh, well, certainly. You're always welcome back, if you don't mind a bit of a wait.
There's nothing, nothing that ensures personal safety and security the way a firearm can. Welcome to Centurion Arsenal. It is my absolute pleasure to assist you with any purchases or questions you may have. All sales are final, but that won't matter because you will undoubtedly be pleased with your purchase. You have my word. Only the finest collection of armaments in the settled systems. I should have known it. There's no hole deep enough, no rock desolate enough that Galbank won't find you in time. 
If you're here for payment, I've got none to give. Sold everything to retire comfortably in obscurity. Afraid it might come to that. Listen, I won't go peaceful, and I can't pay you. So the way I see it is you have a choice. We fight and see who's lucky. Or dead. Or maybe you leave here. Say it was a bum lead. It happens from time to time. Give an old fellow a peaceful retirement. Well, I maxed out my credit limit. So, 10,000 credits. I mean, with all the interest payments I've made over the years, Galbank still made a profit off me. I, I, you have no idea what this means to me. Listen, stranger, I've seen a lot of things, but nothing like you. Take this. My sidearms have seen me through more scrapes than I could count. It's just gathering dust now. You deserve it. Look out there. I mean it. We got the payment and a really moving letter from the old guy. It's powerful stuff. Just glowing about what a model employee you are. Take this. You've more than earned it.
United Colony Space. Maintain course and prepare to be scanned. Scan complete. You're cleared to land at New Hope. Welcome to New Homestead. Please make your way to the building at the end of the path and down into the colony below. Stay safe and enjoy your visit. You shouldn't got anything you need to offload. Okay, no problem.
not easy keeping these ancient turbines going. I wish more people realized that. Oh, hello there. Uh, are you here about the brownouts? That's usually the only reason people come up here to talk to me, since I'm the power system manager here. Yes, the power shortages we're experiencing. Haven't you seen the flickering lights? This equipment is all very old, and the protections against the cold have worn down, so now? Brownouts. All the time. And I get to deal with it. Hooray for me. You have no idea. Worse, I'm stuck up here overseeing the whole system, and we don't currently have anyone available to go out there and take care of the problem. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I'm a little new to the job, and I'll admit I'm struggling a little bit. I could use some help. I could use someone who's handy with a laser cutter to break up the ice that's formed on some of the power system machinery out there. That should clear up the shorts we've been experiencing and stop the brownouts. Does that sound like something you can do? Oh, thank you. I, I guess I'm lucky you showed up then. Just be careful not to hurt yourself or the equipment. I'll continue to monitor things from here. Feel free to look around, but do not touch. Sure would be nice to get off world someday. Did you know the museum here? Was Hello there. Oh, oh, Welcome to the new Homestead oh, wow. Chunks. We've got all your Chunks favorites. Well, almost all of them. Sadly, we're out of the special sauce. I know, I know. But everything else is still that great Chunks food you know and love. <laughs> so, what can I do for you? If I'm completely honest, it is. The people are always saying how this Chunks can't compare to the real deal. And I just know it's because we never had that mouth-watering sauce. I've been in contact with some of the other restaurants out there, and they'll give me some, but they say they can't afford to send it, and I don't have a ship, so what am I to do? Wait, for real? You do that. You're not pulling my leg. Oh, yeah, right. I actually just got a message back from another Chunks before you got here, and they got a case ready to go for me. Just tell them you're there to pick it up for me, and it should be good to go. Thanks. It's been a while since I last visited. Nice to see this place still has... Well, what did we think of the tour? Very informative. I didn't know about the methane harvesters before coming here. The, um, Brown Horse Tavern. Don't stay outside for too long here on Titan. Off-worlders always ask how I can live here. I wonder how they can live anywhere else. Mm, I could really go for some of Anya's cooking.
Enjoy your visit here. Your homestead is a living history exhibit. These are real people, so please be kind. I'm really careful not to damage the... Great! I just saw the readings and everything looks good. Thanks again for your help. Careful. There are some dangerous areas around here that are not part of any tools. We live a simple life on New Homestead. Another tourist. Just do me a favor and stay out of trouble. It's hard enough dealing with our own sick and injured. Great! Another tourist. <sighs> Let me guess. You slipped on the ice and need a doctor to wrap your sprained ankle? They do, but they're also a terrible burden for a small colony doctor like myself. I have enough trouble treating our own people with the time and resources I have. I appreciate that you're trying to set me at ease, but that might as well be the same. Sorry for how I responded. It's not you, it's me. I'm just frustrated about all the non-native people I need to treat when our own still need help. Anyway, what can I do for you? I don't. They make a mockery of new homestead culture. And on top of it, they're reckless. It's like I said before, I feel like I'm treating them more often than our own people. Actually, maybe there is. I have an idea that may be best suited for someone relatively unknown, instead of myself. <laughs> I've got a mountain of work and a reputation to maintain. So I bought a realistic monster costume the plan was to wear it, scare tourists away, and start a rumor about terrible creatures living on Titan. I figure that once word gets around, tourism will take enough of a dive to give me some relief. Oh, good. <laughs> I was hoping not to have to do it myself, so I'm glad to have a volunteer. Here's the costume. I think this will work best on the surface, so just find a group and run up to them, acting like a convincing alien monster. With any luck, they'll run screaming and book the next flight out of here. Welcome to New Homestead. You get used to the methane processing smell. After a while. <sighs> this is a boring assignment. Those folks in Sedonia may be closer to work.
not looking to cause any trouble in that costume of yours. Hello there. The museum here is free to everyone. Did you I'll treat you if you need it. But please, try to be more careful around here. <laughs> I'll bet they won't be coming back anytime soon. Thank you. With any luck, I'll be able to give more attention to my regular patients now. Tell you what. If you want to come back later and do this for me a couple more times, I'll even let you keep the costume. Oh, I was hoping we might run into one another again. Your timing is most fortuitous. I'm on the verge of something, but I don't quite have all the information I need. You have no idea how much I appreciate that, truly. Of course, now that I understand more about what's going on, it seems plain as day. And yet I never would have imagined it before. The tertiary trunks have also liquefied their interiors, but they're not vibrating. I thought perhaps it was some sort of defect, but it's much simpler. They're listening. It means it is ready to reproduce. I believe this tree is sending vibrations out over massive distances and expecting to detect sympathetic vibrations in return. As of yet, there's been no response. I suspect that will not change, that a response is impossible, and that's very, very bad news. No, no, I'm sorry, but I believe that reaction is premature. There's still one thing I'd like to try. Now, as of yet, there has been no response, and clearly none of the nearby individuals are a correct match. While it can't be ruled out that the intended recipient of these messages was cut down during the city's expansion, there is one other possibility. Over a hundred years ago, the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective emerged from the Narian War. As a gesture of peace and goodwill, 
a near-literal olive branch, one of the trees from New Atlantis, was offered to the leaders of Aquila City. Nice. Short-sighted and ill-advised, in my opinion. Of course you can't just uproot a native species and plunk it down on some other planet in a totally different environment and expect it to grow. Clearly, no exobotanists were consulted ahead of time. The end result was wholly predictable. The tree died within a few short years. Clever, but no, not necessarily. The tree died, yes, but branches were kept. At least one still exists in the museum there in the city. If I had that branch, I could get DNA samples and then using various data I've gathered, I could attempt to simulate a response. We could then broadcast that response and hopefully calm down our friend here. But as I say, I need that branch. <laughs> I knew you would understand. The museum in Aquila City is under the supervision of one Miss Kassler, I'm told. I don't know anything about her, but hopefully she'll be willing to listen to reason and assist our cause. All right, off you go. We don't have any time to waste. Welcome to Freestar Space. We're going to do a quick scan for contraband and you can be on your way. All right. You're good. Welcome to Neon. What the hell is this about? Cut the act. Snippers picked up the Aurora you're carrying the second you step in. See? I told it's you. It's a wonderful Look day, my place. Friend. Ridiculous. Welcome. Right? Welcome, my friend. It's been a long time since I've seen a new face. Exactly. I can't believe this place is still open. The I first time I've laid eyes on this building, I felt the same way. You see, when I opened this shop, I had grand ambitions of creating a mining supply empire on Volai. Yet here I am, only a few years later, pockets empty, and my business on the verge of closure. It is a sad day. That would be a blessing, my friend, but I wouldn't want to impose. You would do that for a total stranger? Bless you, my friend. Bless you. I've come up with an idea that I'm hoping will generate a lot of interest in my business, and you were the final element that was missing. If you could bring these flyers to some of the other vendors in Neon, it would explain how we can improve our businesses as a group. Wonderful. Simply wonderful. You have no idea the weight you have lifted from my shoulders. I appreciate your help. If there's anything I can do, anything at all, please let me know. Please let me know when those flyers have been handed out.
protective equipment and accessories for all your hectic needs. Package food. Hey there. Welcome to Newell's. Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. Well, normally I wouldn't go in for that sort of thing, but Sieghart's given me no choice. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon security to keep his place safe. Yeah, sure, if all you care about is yourself. Every payment Seagert makes validates Neon Security's corruption. He's setting a bad precedent that many merchants are forced to follow. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. Here, let me see that. Oh, not a bad idea. You might be onto something here. Thanks for bringing this to me. Oh, okay, yeah, that'd be extremely helpful. <laughs> I honestly don't know what to say. Fair enough. Just be careful when you're dealing with Siegert. He can be surprisingly unreasonable when he's cornered. Of course, I have a huge inventory to choose from. Watch your back out there. We have everything you could pop on these two grass liquors and satisfy you. Your dad's jumping in from where? Hey there. Paradiso. Yeah? You need something? If you're here for Blen, I just had a new batch come in last night. No. I think he finally huh? Okay, suit yourself. But you have no idea what you're missing. Look, I don't have time for chit-chat. I've got a lot of business to take care of, so if you don't mind hurrying this along, that'd be great. As soon as word gets out, Blend is back in stock. <laughs> it's going to be a stampede. Uh, eh, whatever, just hand it over. I'll look at it on my own time. Got plenty of ice-cold drinks in stock. All day, all night. Looking to blow a hole in something? If you're here to buy, take a look around the shop. Just keep your hands where I can see them. Good. Then just buy what you want and get out of here. If you don't like it, talk to Styx. He runs our, um, complaints department. <laughs> That's more like it. You know, I'm sick and tired of people coming in here and treating sticks like he's some kind of sideshow exhibit. I mean, look at that graffiti they sprayed onto his chassis. Uh, if I could find the asshole who did that, I'd make him pay for the paint removal. You'd do that? Huh. Okay. Uh, maybe I misjudged you. Huh. I'm glad you see Sticks is more than just a possession. The lowlife that did this to my buddy calls himself Warlord. <laughs> you can probably find him somewhere near Euphorica. Scare the crap out of this punk, and it'll teach all the Ebside lunatics that nobody messes with me and the Sticks. If you've got the credits, I've got what you need.
All right, get out of here. If it's too hot to handle, we can take it off your hands. Yeah? Buying, selling, or moving? Yeah? Well, then let me spell it out for you. You either walked into the TA to buy some goods, sell some goods, or have some liberated goods taken off your hands for a reasonable price. So, instead of wasting my time making me explain how the business world works, let's get a move on. Hey, I never said stole. You used that word, not me. Look, let's stop playing games. We both know what I'm talking about. Now, what'll it be? Now we're getting somewhere. Off. I'm busy. One to challenge What is it? The Borealis? You know, the DJ? You wanna head to Euphorica after work tonight? Nah. Hello there! Let me know if you need anything. How about Welcome to Sick Hearts Outfitters. Everything you need to explore the settled systems. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Blend, you bring the chunks. I can promise you, I'm not just using hyperbole to get your business. I've spent years perfecting my business by polling customers, measuring sales, and carefully adjusting my inventory to cater to just about everyone. So take your time, look around, ask me questions. You won't be disappointed. Am I? Forgive me, I tend to forget how annoying that can be. I have a lot of overhead in this place, and just between you and me, I am up to my eyeballs in debt. This is a prime spot right next to the spaceport terminal, but the bills and the rent here are astronomical. Sure, and going in, I expected it to be expensive. Anyway, I don't want to bore you with the details of my business all day. You're here to shop. So why don't you help out a poor shopkeeper like myself and buy something? Business could always be better. I'll take that. Yes, I'm aware of James's objections. That's partly why I don't go to the meetings. But if I don't pay Dexler, I'll lose my business. And what good would joining the Alliance do then? So, really, I don't have a choice here. If they want to fight Neon Security, they can. But I need to protect my livelihood. Easy for him to say, he doesn't have my debts. If I don't pay Dexler, I might lose my inventory. And if I lose my inventory, I'll lose my store. And why is that? If I have to, I... Then it seems we are... I know it is, and my dear mother would be angry with some of the choices I've made.
You're so persistent, this might actually work. This isn't getting us anywhere. You've made your case, but I don't think it's wise to stop my debts being what they are. Well, maybe she was wrong. I try to be a good man, but in Neon, good men starve. All right. Why did you drag me in here? You said you wanted to buy Take something nice. <sighs> Are you sure you're in the right place? You, you certainly don't look like one of our usual clientele. This is way out of my price range. Hey, you're the one that told me she has expensive. I take it from your tone I've made an error in judgment. Please forgive my disrespect. We have quite a few shall we say thugs that find their way into my establishment and create a disturbance. In fact, there's a particular Seoka member who calls himself Headlock, who repeatedly torments me by damaging my goons. Ah, yes, the authorities. Neon security. <laughs> <sighs> Corrupt, bumbling idiots who couldn't solve a crime if it occurred right in front of their faces. Anyway, I've already taken up too much of your valuable time. Was there anything else I could help you with? Oh? Well, maybe I'll give it some thought. Maybe. Oh my goodness, that's such a relief. You have no idea. Thank you for accepting my offer. Headlock's quite a dangerous gentleman. I believe you can find him hanging out somewhere in Epside near Frankie's Grab and Go. You say that, but Seoka aren't exactly pushovers when it comes to this sort of thing, so you better watch your ass. Anyway, that's really all I know. Head back here when you've taken care of the situation. Good luck. Oh yes, absolutely. Please visit us again if you're in the market for luxury items. Beautiful. Unique. Original. So you're telling me I have to take my entire load of alcohol back to you like this? No, no, no! Hey, wait! You were there when those security assholes nabbed me. Please, have a heart. You need to help me. I don't make the rules, lady. Thank you. Oh, God. I gotta admit, I'm freaking out here. I've lost my job. I've lost my creds. And if I don't square things with Yannick Legrand, I'll lose everything else. Everything. Yannick is expecting a package. Really, not so legal package. If you deliver it to him, he'll know I'm loyal. Don't worry, Yannick's loaded. He'll take care of you. Security won't give you a second look. It'll be fine. So please, just deliver the package. My crate's on block 02 in Ebside. My authentication code is Alpha 3 Kilo 4. Just tell the manager and she'll key you in. The package is there. Everything accounted for. Just take that to Yannick, and hopefully this damn nightmare will be over. Look at you. Beautiful. We've been here an hour already. It's a perfect Maybe day for a different year. Welcome to Enhance.
If you're tired of seeing that same old face in the mirror every morning and you're looking for something different, we can help. Our state-of-the-art machinery uses a patented proprietary technology that can reshape your facial features or give you a new head of hair. For a small one-time fee, you can enhance yourself and bring a big warm smile to your brand new face. I thought I did, but with enhances options, I'll take a look, but I won't make any promises, okay? This one thing just grew up. You have yourself an amazing day, okay? Computer. Welcome, off worlder, to the Hotel Voli. Are you here to book a room? Welcome to the Hotel Voli. Are you here to rent a room? I think you'll be pleasantly surprised that our luxury accommodations are more than reasonably priced. <laughs> That's the first thing that all of my guests say. My hotel is completely free from administrative influence, so you can rest assured that you'll be actually getting the best value for your credits. Indeed it does. And all it took was a dash of my own ingenuity to make it happen. But that's a story for another time. So, can I book you a room for the night? Oh, thanks. I'll definitely give this some thought. It couldn't hurt. Enjoy your visit to Neon. Hey there. Got the shakes, huh? What can Reliant Medical do for you? Is that obvious? Yeah, I haven't zoned in like a week. My whole body... Oh my goodness. Another poor soul. All right. Tell me what happened to you. Is it an Aurora overdose? Something else, perhaps? That's a very wise choice. Since you're clearly a first-time visitor to Reliant Neon, I'd love to offer you a free checkup, but I'm afraid I'm dangerously low on supplies. I can assure you it isn't by choice. You see, I'm a bit... at odds with the current administrator of Neon. His drug is turning the streets into a graveyard, and he doesn't seem to care. We've argued about it on more than one occasion, and all he's done is try to persuade me to quit. Thinning out my supply chain is his newest tactic. Then you understand what I'm up against. At this point, I've resorted to asking anyone that has a ship registered outside of the Voli system to bring me medical supplies. I pay them for the supplies, of course, but it's the only way I can sneak them past Bayou's people at the spaceport. Now, if there's anything else I can do for you, anything at all, you just let me know. That would be amazingly helpful. It's a relief to meet someone who gives a damn about anyone other than themselves for a change. Oh, and I'll pay you directly for the supplies, of course. It's the only way I can sneak them past Bayou's people at the spaceport. There's nothing else to be done about it. These people need my help. Anyway... I have a contact over at the clinic in the Narian system. Abby Edding? She's one of the nurses there. She'll get you started. Thank you so much for doing this. You have no idea how helpful it'll be for the poor folk that live in Ebside. I wouldn't mind a bit of extra traffic as long as the supplies allow for it. A few extra credits never hurt. Try not to get hurt out there. Yeah? Hello, my friend. Ah! Thank you so much, my friend. I believe that this will be a great boon for my business. Thank you for taking the time to do this for me. It is not often to see such kindness here in Neon. Farewell, my friend. 
And tell everyone we have plenty of mining supplies in stock.